What's up everybody, Dre back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about a newsletter that just got released. Yes, newsletters are back. And we're definitely going to get into it in just a second. But before we get into that, be sure to like up the video so that more people can see it. Subscribe if you're new and ding that bell so that you can get more content on Ready or Not or any other game that I decide to cover. Alright, let's get into it. So the name of this update is called Briefing 25 February Update. Brought to you by the very generous Guinevere, the community manager of Void Interactive. It starts off with saying, The February update is here. Hey everyone, today we're happy to announce both the return of Ready or Not's bi-weekly newsletters and February's content update. Available for all players now. Yes, anybody with the standard edition can now play with the supporter edition people were playing somewhat. Try out the two new weapons, the G36C and the BRN 180. Play on the new test map, Club. I tried to manage new knife wielding suspects. Drop the gun now! Drop the fucking gun, idiot! Oh, you Do that! She had a knife. So what did I think of this update? Well, the two guns are pretty nice, but I kind of dislike how the G36C doesn't have the top rail that I'm so accustomed to. Like, it honestly feels so out of place that that top rail is just missing. But I mean, the guns are cool. I think I like the BRN more than I like the G36C, but these were two guns that were in the game previously, and now they're back. I think they play about the same. I don't remember if they play differently or not, but I do like them. Glad that they're finally back. And uh, yeah, when it comes to the club map, they uh, actually updated it. It's different from the one that I played that was only released to the supporters. I'm not sure if they changed it during that time or if they actually changed it when they released this version to the public. There is definitely a difference. Like that whole front area was not like that before. I'm going to release the newer version and the older version. The newer version is going to come first because it's newer. And then later I'll release the older one just to show the difference. But yeah, overall, it's a pretty good map. I actually quite like this one. It's not a big map. It's not a small map. I call it a medium map. It is a bit of a maze, but for the most part, I definitely knew where I was going most of the time. Although I will say that the previous version was a little harder than this version because I feel like there was actually more enemies than there was in the newer version. The newer version actually set some more darker tone because it definitely has a lot more dead bodies in it than the previous one. Like I definitely felt more down to earth with this version because in the previous version I was like more staring at butt talks. Damn boy, you got some nice assets when it comes to knifing suspects. Honestly, I don't know. Like I never really found them to really be a threat because they start charging at me from a distance and I just pull out my gun and BAM! It's like that one freaking scene from Indiana Jones. I play it here but I don't want to get copyrighted. Like I've ran into a bunch of knifing suspects but most of the time I just end up killing them from a distance. I think the idea is cool but I think they do better when they're actually up close and personal. But it seems like I haven't really had a good chance of seeing that because I end up shooting them because they're charging. But anyways, so that's pretty much it for the big things that have come out in this update. There are several small stuff and if you want to look at that I'll definitely have a link to that in the description. It's nothing too crazy but it's a lot of fun stuff that'll definitely hold us over until the next update which should be coming out hopefully in march but we'll see all right let's go ahead and get to the rest of this newsletter here it continues on to say going forward players can expect a development update every other thursday with topics ranging from previews of future content to community content spotlights we believe that these updates will provide an important link to our player base by letting them see what the team is working on during a typical month and looking forward to continuing them over the course of early access okay cool i'll definitely Definitely be looking at all these newsletters and uh, yeah moving on to the next thing here they have content preview under the hood for our first weekly update since before the early access launch we wanted to focus on a few broad areas that we've been developing over the course of the last month with the unexpected and humbling amount of support ready or not has received we've been able to dedicate ourselves fully to improving existing content and adding new mechanics to the game in particular we've spent a lot of time overhauling the levels currently available in the game to be visually more 
striking and diverse, improving their readability and adding elements of the environmental storytelling. Yeah, I've definitely noticed. Today, we'll be sharing the first concept art of a new map we're working on, Ridgeline, as well as the concept art of suspects you will encounter on Penthouse. So obviously we've seen this picture before. I believe it was first posted on their Discord, not their Twitter. As far as I can tell, there's nothing that's too different about it. Maybe it's just a little bigger than the previous one. But underneath the picture, it says concept art of Ridgeline, a level currently in the works. So yeah, nothing too crazy here. You've already looked at this pretty thoroughly last time I checked. And uh, yeah, moving on to the next thing here. It looks like we got the same picture, but at night. Ooh, does this mean that each map is going to have day map and a night map? That'd be great. So you could definitely tell that somebody's living there with the smoke and the uh, lights that are on. Man, this almost looks real. Were it not for a freaking concept art. Pretty cool looking. Underneath the picture, it says the cabin at night. Watch your step because I assume that when you step on logs, it's going to make a noise because you might break a twig or something. Someone's going to be like, who's that? What was that noise? But anyways, moving on to the next thing we got. What looks like a couple of patriots here. It said that these guys were going to be in penthouse. So that's going to be an interesting way to see these guys. Seems like these guys would fit more in a forest area, but uh, I don't know. These guys are probably former military, just judging by, well, I don't know. Maybe they're not former military, but the guy in the middle to the left there definitely looks like he's former military because he's missing a leg and has dog tags. But the other three, I can't really say for sure. I was kind of thinking to myself, what if that guy with the freaking leg, like he's running at you with a knife and he freaking loses his leg, falls over, and then gets back up and starts hobbling towards you with the knife? That'd be freaking funny. But that's just me. But yeah, they're all pretty good looking. The guys with the hats on kind of reminds me of the uh, sniper team that we were supposed to have in the game back in the day. I wonder if we're ever going to get those sniper teams back. But anyways, these are some pretty cool character models. Underneath the picture, it says concept of the art suspects from one of our test levels, Penthouse. Can't wait to see them in the game. And that pretty much does it for all the new stuff. A lot of cool stuff that's going on here. Can't wait to see it. And then we got this section here called Community Spotlight Mods of the Month. One of the most exciting parts of the team since launch has been seeing the immense creativity and work ethic our community has. Thousands of mods have been created since Ready or Not entered early access. Some adding weapons, skins, new voice lines, AI behavioral tweaks, or even complete overhauls. While it's impossible to choose definitively the best mod for Ready or Not, we wanted to highlight a few that have stood out to us this past month. The first mod that they have here is The Foundation by Z Schlop on the Nexus mods. They have to make sure that they say Nexus because obviously you don't want to go to the wrong freaking website. But anyways, uh, I'm assuming that this is going to be probably the SCP, right? Because the, the Foundation, that's the only thing that really comes to mind when I hear something like that. The creativity behind this mod and the variety it offers is excellent. You're given several options as to what unit you want your SWAT team to be converted to, and each of them have been lovingly rendered in to fit into Ready or Not. Okay, cool. I'm gonna be honest, guys, like, I'm not gonna play mods until, you know, the stuff actually gets officially onto Workshop on Steam, because I just don't want to deal with, you know, having to delete the mods and, you know, the files and shit. Like, I'd just rather unsubscribe and resubscribe to fix all that. But I'll definitely mention these mods here, I guess. The second mod that they have here is the DEA Special Response Team by Marines on Nexus Mods. This mod excels in adding high quality uniforms that immerse the player in a tactical unit entirely separate from what's normally playable in the game and yeah it looks pretty cool actually cool 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 moving on to the next thing here we got mod number three lspd lore friendly swat reskin pack what a mouthful by dover one on nexus mods the dedication of this mod in adding an immersive and authentic touch to the los sunas Su i never know how to say that freaking name sunos police department is what impresses most there's so many little details that really bring it to the next level from the patches to the character uniforms to the well-worn look of the ballistic shield this is clearly a labor of love Let's take a look at that. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Dope. I might try it sometime. And yeah, that seems to be it for the Community Spotlight Mods of the Month. See, this is what I wanted from uh, that one newsletter that they created a long time ago, but it was kind of like a fan-made newsletter. Like, they were putting a bunch of, like, mods and actual updates in the newsletter, but they didn't, like, separate them to make sure that the base content was, you know, different from the mod content, so I couldn't tell which one was actual content and which one was mods. This one right here actually does it correctly, where I would like to see the stuff that we got, the stuff that we're getting, and the mods. Perfect newsletter. Although it is relatively tiny, but I ain't complaining. The stuff that we're getting is pretty good. In conclusion, this brings an end to our 25th bi-weekly briefing, and the first since Ready or Not entered early access on Steam. Going forward, we will continue to showcase new content for the game and take a look at what the community has produced. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the update. Thank you, Guinevere, for the very generous newsletter. Long time no see. I feel like it's been about a month or two since the last one. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, what are you guys 
guys' thoughts? Obviously, February was uh, not as big as the previous one, but I mean, we still got some decent stuff here. They told us that we weren't going to get a whole lot in February, but they said that March was going to be a lot bigger, so I'm not really complaining here. But again, what are your thoughts? Tell me down below, because I'm going to end the video here. If you enjoyed the fact that I cover games like Red or Not, then be sure to like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon, or click on the join button that's underneath the video. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content on Ready or Not or any other game that I decide to bring to the channel. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.